One year ago, LEGO released three new Indiana Jones sets, bringing back the line with 77012, 77013, and 77015. Now, this was super cool, and I think pretty much every LEGO fan enjoyed it. As you can tell, I may or may not be a little biased, but the thing is, anyone who was keeping up with the leaks for the previous year or so noticed that a couple of things were missing. Number one, most notably, was 77014, the Temple of Doom, which is gained a pretty big reputation over the past year or so. And there were also a handful of other sets that were supposed to coordinate with the release of Dial of Destiny, but probably because of the subpar reception to the movie in theaters. Listen, as much as I love Indiana Jones, and especially as much as I love Dial of Destiny, I still have to admit that the movie did not get the reception Disney was hoping. It was pretty lukewarm. Now, this could be attributed to the fact that people just didn't really enjoy you know, the movie, or maybe it was because people just don't like going to theaters anymore. I do think it's notable that for a long time, as soon as Dial of Destiny hit digital, it was top of the charts. Now, you've probably seen this image floating around. It's basically just a blurry picture that someone took with their phone of a computer screen. And you know, when you take a picture on a computer screen, you get that weird pixel effect. Not that easy to make out detail, but there have been a ton of fans who really, really were sad that the set didn't come out, myself included. If you don't know, uh, a person by the name of Tiranoff did a complete recreation of the set and then released the instructions for free. I'll leave a link down below so you'll be able to find those if you want to build it. Um, and we'll come back to him later in just a bit. Now, if you want to know what my thoughts are on why the set didn't release, I made a video for that. You can watch it up there, but stick around because this is kind of a big deal too. Just this past February, a uh, uh, known leaker by the name of Fateful Lego on Instagram um, happened to come across image of the set in like full HD. And he never planned to share it, number one, because he doesn't actually leak images of sets, he usually just does a description. And he leaks like physical stuff. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know much about leaking. Personally, I, I think it's cool to see stuff before it comes out, but also it's like things that you could just wait a couple months. He didn't wanna share it because he, you know, was worried that if he did, then Lego would come after his contact and, you know, he could lose his contact and basically not have the ability to leak anything for the foreseeable future. And, you know, that's totally understandable. And someone who really, really wanted that set to come out uh, had asked him if he had any sort of like leaks or images of the set. And he said, well, yes, I do have one. Um, and they kind of begged him over and over for it. And then eventually Faithful just kind of gave in and was like, well, here, here's a picture of Molaram. And also I'd like to note, I'm not gonna be showing that image. Uh, number one, out of respect for Fateful and everything that he's kind of been through because of this. Also number two, because I would like to keep this video up without multiple parties trying to take it down. So the person who asked for this picture, um, and to be clear, this was not the whole image, it was just a cropped image of Molaram on the box art. This person said they weren't going to share it at all, Fateful asked them not to share it, and they shared it. So the image kind of spread around, someone sent it to me because they wanted me to remake the figure. Basically this image got spread around over and over and over again, but it, it still stayed private, it never got posted. Someone posted it on Reddit, and it was pretty controversial. Half of the community was with the person because they were mad that Fateful was not sharing this image um, because they kind of felt that they had a right to this image, which is kind of weird. They called him a gatekeeper because he was not showing it off. The other half of the community, however, was against this person posting it and everyone who was kind of, you know, following them saying like, you shouldn't have posted this. This is against everything that the original leaker wanted and you're just kind of disrespecting them at this point. No matter how much I want to see a picture of a leaked set, that doesn't mean I'm going to go against someone's wishes and share something that they didn't want me to share, period. If someone doesn't want you to share an image, no matter what it is, then you don't share it. The other important detail was that Fateful had watermarked this image, so people knew that this was from him. I don't really know why he watermarked it. It was probably just to stop someone from stealing the image and also to stop people like me from just completely copying the the figure and, you know, so on and so forth. This this has kind of like sparked a bit of a debate amongst the LEGO Indiana Jones community for the past couple weeks. Fateful 
article came out on his Instagram, he was pretty mad. He was basically, he explained the story from his perspective. He also explained that he never planned to in the first place. People still thought that he was gatekeeping the image, that he should just share it because there's no point in not sharing it. To those people, you're wrong. Reason number one, fateful isn't, didn't, doesn't just get this stuff out of the blue. He has a person that he knows that gives him all of his information. This person that gave him the image just kind of like gave it in probably a, a slew of other stuff. It wasn't, he didn't specifically ask for it. It just kind of like happened to come into his possession. So the other thing is that not only did he not plan to share this image, people shared it without his consent. Because of that, it could have led to his contact getting into a lot of trouble. He could have gotten into a lot of trouble and a lot of people were just saying like oh lego wouldn't really doesn't really care there's you know they should just share it no matter what but honestly that's not for them to decide lego can do whatever they want they're a huge company you're sad the set didn't come out but that doesn't mean that you have a right to see an image this is all over a, a jpeg it's really just stupid and i'm honestly disappointed in the amount of fans that are treating this person this way fateful isn't going to share the image he definitely wasn't going to for there's no way he's gonna do it now personally my personal stance on it is i don't care i was gonna make molarom either way i'm probably gonna make the rest of the figures from that set either way also i've talked to fateful for a decent amount just about this whole thing and he doesn't understand it like even me as like a huge indiana jones fan um i do not understand why so many people are dying to see this like we already have a leaked image we already have Tiranoff who recreated the whole set and probably wouldn't change that much. Really the only reason these people want to see the set is because they just want to see it. They're not going to do anything with it. Also, like I mentioned earlier, um, I've talked with Tiranov a decent bit about this. He also sides with Fateful. He's pretty much said he is, you know, a little disappointed that he won't get to see the image. He completely understands what Fateful went through. Overall, I'm kind of disappointed, um, not in the fact that I won't see the set, but in the amount of LEGO Indiana Jones fans that went too far and are basically harassing this guy. I'm honestly kind of upset, and we already know that we're not going to get more Indiana Jones sets, at least for now, with the whole Disney holding kind of like these bans over certain characters being made. I don't think it's very likely we're going to see Indiana Jones sets for at least another year, like at the most. You know, Disney- Did you see it? On the left side of the door frame, barely visible on camera, a white translucent- Disney and Lego would have to come back, talk, and make a new deal. I just don't see that happening. I'm okay with Lego at the moment, you know. I'm sad that we're not going to get more sets, but I understand why. Anyways, that's all I've got to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little kind of info dump. I hope you're liking this new style of videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.